So, how much did it cost me? Hi there, welcome to the video. My name is Wes, and this is my EV tips and reviews channel called It's Electric. Today is gonna to be a quick update video on my Volkswagen ID.4 first edition. And the reason for that is it just had its very first maintenance need and it was quite a big one. I've owned the ID.4 for almost 25,000 miles now. And up until this point, we have done absolutely no maintenance to this vehicle whatsoever. But that just changed. And I'm gonna tell you in this video what changed, how much it cost me, and a little bit of a plan or a strategy I'm going to try to see if I can reduce that cost further in the future. One of the biggest drawbacks for electric vehicles right now is how much they weigh. Take for example the ID.4. It weighs almost 15 to 20% more than two of its gas powered competitors, the Mazda CX-5 and the Toyota RAV4. And with that extra weight comes some cons and not the least of which, what it does to your tires. All ID.4s in North America, at least, come with Bridgestone Alenza Sport all-season tires. One thing I found out is that they have no warranty whatsoever. So when they wear out, they wear out and you have to replace them, which is what happened to me for my rear tires only so far. At the time we changed our tires, the front tires were measuring in at 5 30 seconds of an inch and the rear tires measured in at 2 30 seconds of an inch. Of course, keep in mind we have a rear wheel drive ID.4, so all of that power and torque goes through the rear axle. So if I'm being honest, our tires in the back probably could have been changed two to 3,000 miles ago, meaning we really only got around 20 to 22,000 miles of tread life out of them, which I don't think is very good. So I had a bit of a conundrum. Do I replace the rear tires with the exact same OEM tires that came from the factory, knowing that they're only gonna last me about a year and a half, maybe two years if I don't drive as much next year? Or do I research and look for something else that has a little bit more life to them? One of the tires I saw that had great reviews online were the Michelin Cross Climate 2s, which are an all season tire, but are focused on traction in rainy or wintry conditions. On top of that, they have a warranty of 60,000 miles if you can rotate them. And obviously in this case, you can't, so that warranty is cut in half to 30,000 miles, which is 30 to 50% longer tread life than I got out of the factory OEM tires. However, like with any tire, there's gonna be drawbacks. And when I was looking at reviews online, a couple of things stood out to me. Some EV owners claim that these tires reduce their range, and other buyers stated that the road noise can be pretty loud. I do wanna point out that the Michelins are only about $20 or so more in price versus the Bridgestones. So here's what I decided to do. For now, I've replaced my rear tires with the Michelin Cross Climate 2s, and I'm leaving, of course, my front tires alone until they're ready to be changed, hopefully another five to 10,000 miles down the road. You'll find things that say that manufacturers don't recommend that you mix and match tire treads, but if you're going to do so, it's always recommended that you put the best tire in the back. So if you're gonna try this for yourself, you can't go to a VW dealership and have these tires put on they will only put on the Bridgestone Alenza Sport tires that come from the factory. So you're gonna have to go to a third party shop. I'll say I've put a few hundred miles on these tires already, and so far, I've noticed no difference with the efficiency, no difference with the cabin noise that's perceptible. I'll definitely consider changing the front tires to the Michelin Cross Climate 2s as well. How much did it cost me? Well, for these two tires, it was $700. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, there goes all the savings of owning an electric vehicle, keep in mind that we have saved over $700 charging our electric vehicle with Electrify America. Our daily usage and fueling cost using electricity is so much lower than the $350 or $4 per gallon of gas that's going on right now. We would have had four or five oil changes at this point, which probably would have been somewhere around $100 to $150 each. Make sure you watch my one-year ownership video right here. Thank you so much for watching.